searching for the witch Siri had quarreled with, Geralt ran into an old friend, Kira Metz. The sorceress told the witcher about a masked mage. Siri had seemed to take him shelter in his hideout. The witcher set off to find it, with Kira in tow. Siri had never reached the elven mage, yet the wild hunt had. The ghostly retinue was one step ahead of Geralt, or so it seemed. The witcher felt that all was lost, until Kira gave him a new lead. The crones of Crookback Bog.
strange bones. Don't seem human to me. of power should draw from it. That's it, Roach. Faster. Raven feathers. Once I was free, I shall be free once more. I offer your remains. Once I was flesh, I shall be flesh once more.
Solved your problem. Just in case, though, avoid the Whispering Hillock for a while. Cannot be. Where's something lurking there? Believe me, you don't want to know. What have you done? Went up the hill, took care of the problem. The details are my concern. I truly said, I knows naught of such things anyway. The crones, or the ladies of the wood as you call them, said to remind you about payment. Take it you know what they want? Aye, I do. Give me the dagger. Be back soon. There's payment. Take it to the ladies, will you? What the hell was that? It is our pact. Uh, you're a stranger. You don't know life here. It's honest pay for their protection. So, all those ears in the woods... Put it out your mind, master. You soon be leaving and we must tarry on. Our young'uns and their young'uns after them. No gods nor masters watch over Velen. The land is no man's. He who wants to survive must seek his own protectors. Weapon, young man. Mm -hmm. In real life, you're different than you were in the tapestry. Well, bring it here. Disobeyed us once more. We are forgiving creatures, but you, you allowed the children to escape. They never wanted to flee. They liked it here. They played. Your punishment must be harsh. Now silence! We must speak to the white haired one. I know that, Mark. This is Anna, the wife of the Baron of Crow's Perch. She belongs to no man. A fruit ripened in her womb. A fruit sprouted from seeds sown by a man she detested. We helped her. She agreed to serve. She bears the mark. She is ours. Come. It is another woman who interests you. Speak, white-haired one. You used me to tame the Whispering Hillock. A lot of work. Not three, brave soul. Did you destroy the evil powers? Have you brought peace to our domain? I freed the spirit trapped in the tree. Hear that, sisters? Traitor! He took the children! Brought her! We made a deal. I was supposed to help the villagers. I held up my end of the bargain. They're safe now. So, a mockery. 
you chose to outwit. What did you need the children for? We? We? They needed us? Our care. You exposed them to great danger! We cannot help them because of you! Leave it, sisters. Everything in its time. You looked different in the tapestry. We're all dressed up just for you. If you only knew how much time we spent in front of the glass. Do you desire us? I'm impressed. Polymorphism, a rare talent. Oh, I'd suck every last drop out of you. Ah, to be woven together with you? I'd be your best and last. Hmm, not what I came for. Our deal. I did my part, now you do yours. A word once given, we never break. The girl. Mousy blonde. That's what they call it. Thin as a rail. Terrified. Exhausted. She could barely stun the poor thing. We cared for her as best we could. Like she was our own daughter. Wasted affection. She proved a very naughty girl. Mischievous, stubborn, and selfish. The young woman I seek never hurt anyone without cause. You've not seen her long. She's changed for the worse. Why'd she attack you? She's no longer the girl you once knew. Wrath consumes her. Don't believe you. They say you always keep your word. So tell me everything, exactly as it happened. We shall tell you, brave boy. We knew someone supposed to arrive. We let beast in trails. For the omens. We would glimpse her likeness. A mirage in a puddle. She came from the lower swamp. We knew not at first it was her the omens had spoken of. A child of the elder blood. The soul seed that would burst into flame. We cannot! You know she is meant for him! Imlareth will get her. He will, but not whole. <laughs> well said. We'll just have a sample. I'll take her feet. Lovely. Mm -hmm. I'm plump. Perfect for a broth. Oh, I can taste it already. Very well. Get on with it! You'll regret that girl. Regret it dearly.
You tried to kill her. Tried to butcher her like an animal and eat her. Her blood. The taste brought back the memories of our youth. Elder blood. Extraordinary girl. But you know that. Such a shame she fled. She escaped you, but I'll find her. We'll come back here together and kill you. You'll return, you shall. Our fates are bound. And one will die. But it shan't be one of us. Now you shall chase shadows and wander midst fog. Each time you see her, she will be a mirage. And if you find her, if the girl <laughs> will die, <laughs> you see you and some light. Run, Roach. What's going on here? Why isn't anyone putting that out? We want it to burn. Got it? Piss off, or we'll fry you along with that fucking elf! There's a third way out of this situation.
What was this about? Why'd they want to burn you alive? They came to rob me. I refused to betray where I keep my valuables, so they brought in a cart full of firewood, barred me inside, and set fire to the thing. Probably counting on you being swayed. Though I doubt they would have let you live even if you'd talked. I've yet to thank you for your aid, Vatgen. My coin lies concealed in a hollowed-out stump behind the house. Take what you wish. It's dangerous to possess too much in these times. Thank you. Farewell. Hey there. Come on. Got pass. Cool. No passage. Halt! No passage. Case of the plague surface in the city or something? The plague? Uh, no. We're to not let folk in the city. It's an order, so I don't. Unless someone's got a pass. What kind of pass are we talking about? Well, a normal one. A transit pass. Who issues them? How should I know? I'm a lowly soldier. Who ordered the city gates closed? Word is the king himself. Doesn't want paupers and refugees pissing all over his beautiful city. Apart from which, when folk can go hither and thither, always a chance some spy will swing through. This way, spies got it harder. So, no pass, no passage. This way, you mean? Let me look at that. Mm -hmm. uh, missing a seal, the red one. Impossible. Department of Civil Defense forgot again. They're really off their heads these days. That happens, so be it. You may come through. Come through. Get him.
troll back on the rock. I'm looking for Tamara, the Bloody Baron's daughter. Your brother said I'd find her here. Voitex sent you, sir. How else would I know she was here? Wait a moment. I'll fetch her straight away. send you? Yeah, to see if you're still alive, and well. I'm Geralt of Rivia. I'm quite alive and extraordinarily well, Geralt of Rivia. Better than I've ever been in this rotten life of mine, and now that you've seen me, I bid you farewell. Wait. We've nothing more to talk about. Your father's a vile man. You're angry and bitter. Can't blame you. Why do you help him then? Why did you take this job? Because he knows something about someone dear to me. Promised to tell me if I found you and your mother. Got it. A bit of blackmail. Just his style. Well, now you've found me, you can tell him I'm alive and I'm never coming back. Before I agreed to look for you, your father told me his version of events. Tell me yours. Mine? It's dull as life amidst the swamps. My earliest memories are of a drunken father lying under the stairs, caked in mud and clutching a bottle. Next dozen years, pretty much the same. Father would drink, disappear for days, then come home in a rage and send furniture flying. Thank the gods for war, I was glad every time they sent him off. And the quarrels. I remember him screaming at mum, the thuds as he beat her, then her sobbing. I'd hide under my bed and long for silence. That's the long and short of it. Multiply by 19 and there you have my life. Finally we'd had enough, Mum and me. He crossed the line and we fled. Before I agreed to look for you, your father told me- Mine? N and look, that's the- I don't mean to pry, but I know your mother had a miscarriage. His doing? He shoved her, she fell, that's how it started. We were alone, no one to help, blood everywhere. Worst night of my life. Sorry, must have been hard for you both. Mum was in shock, she was raving that it was better this way, that she never wanted the child. She must have had a fever, she was losing blood the whole time. She didn't want the child? Said she'd sooner cut open her gut than bear another child from his seed. Voitex said some monster carried off your mother. That is what happened. It was enormous, twice the size of a bear, but much quicker and more agile. It grabbed Mum before we could react. Now I don't even know if she's alive. Your mother's in Crookback Bog. Seems quite happy, actually. Though I think she's not quite right in the head. What? She lives! I must go there at once and get her out! Wouldn't recommend venturing into the swamp. I've made my decision! Won't let anyone talk me out of it. What will you do now? Find my mum. You realize that might not be that easy. Don't worry, I'm not daft enough to believe I can do it alone. I've got some new friends now. Powerful friends. They'll help me. Who are these friends, if it's not a secret? No secret. Heard of the Church of the Eternal Fire? A priest helped me contact the Redanian witch hunters. Righteous, brave men. They'll help me. Hence the candlesticks in your room. So you believe in the eternal fire. Once the heat of the fire has set your heart aflame, it gives you strength and leads you down the path of truth for the rest of your life. I hope it'll bless you with its warmth one day. Thanks. Thing is, fire's tricky. It's easy to get burned. What about your father? Who? Oh, him. I don't care. I won't go back to him. That bit of my life? Forgotten it already. Well, well. <coughs> a witcher. Never thought the Baron would stoop to hiring a monster slayer. 
Though I hear you're good at tracking things down. Glad you know who I am. Haven't introduced yourself, though. Graden, witch hunter in the service of His Royal Majesty Radovid of Redania. I'm certain you've heard of us. Rings a bell. If the Bloody Baron sent you to fetch his daughter, you'd best face it. You will fail in your task. I appreciate your concern, but I don't need it. As for tomorrow, she can make her own decisions. Hmm. <coughs> Noble of you. A killer for hire abandoning his bounty for the good of another. The Hunters and the Church of the Eternal Fire thank you. So the Baron hired a Witcher to find his daughter. Interesting. Where are you gonna take her? Tamara must rest. She's had a harrowing experience. When the warmth of the Eternal Fire has restored her strength, we shall see about finding her mother. Before you go, your father asked me to give you this. Clara? Father told you to give me Clara. Funny how he thought to buy me back with a memory. Tell him one gesture could never make up for a ruined childhood. So long, Witcher. In spite of all, I'm... Well, I'm grateful you gave me a choice. Didn't force me to go back to the tyrant. Hope you know what you're getting yourself into. So long, and good luck. Back under your rock. <laughs> 